Number 30 in the Masters of Cinema collection is Lifeboat by Alfred Hitchcock. Now this is one of those Alfred Hitchcock movies that I've always loved and it's a fairly simple premise to the story. Just a simple idea that just tackles human nature pretty much. So as we start the movie there has been a ship that has been sunk, there is a woman in a lifeboat and slowly as she drifts through the water she starts to pick up survivors until the boat is filled up and uh, some of these people know each other, some of them have rapport, they're kind of taking this a little bit easily, some of them anyway and the crux of the movie comes when they pull someone aboard and it turns out to be a German sailor and they're not quite sure what to do. When the boat's full of all the people, uh, we start to have this idea of bickering and infighting, of struggling where to go, of the German who seems to hold a little bit more information first thought, the, the idea of what do they do with this person, do they throw him back in the water, uh, and it just it creates such a, a really interesting dynamic in amongst all these characters and as we move through the movie we explore their different personalities, we get uh, their real personalities coming to the forefront, we have little stories that tackle all the different people in the boat and it has real tragedy and it has the usual suspension tension that Hitchcock rivals up uh, so well in his movies now. The movie's a one location uh, film, it's set within the boat, it's drifting at sea, it's not the most visually striking movie ever or idea of a movie but the way Hitchcock moves the camera, the way he creates his scenes, the way he makes it varied enough makes it an exciting location within itself and because it's, it's filled with such likeable characters whom you can understand their thoughts, their decisions, because it has this level of mystery, and because it has this uh, underlying line of suspense, because we as a viewer ultimately know that the, the German uh, sailor knows a little bit more and is a little bit more uh, prepared within the situation than everybody else. It becomes that level of um, ticking time bomb almost when is things going to turn? Is he leading them astray? Is he leading them to safety? Are they uh, watching these people become helpless within this situation to lose the power that they have to watch them suddenly start to fight in amongst each other? It becomes such a, a captivating and mesmerising movie. And I love a lot of the performances, but it has uh, some levity within this as well to really rise above the ranks. We've got a rich guy and a city, a sailor who are playing cards constantly. We have a reporter woman who is slowly throughout the movie losing every single prized possession that she has. It has all these beats and moments throughout the characters that are really allows them to grow as well particularly the reporter who is a, a really kind of lead performer almost who ties everybody together. She's so nonchalant about the whole thing at the start and slowly has to rouse and tie everybody together throughout the movie and then there's a point of no return where she just breaks down and, and you really feel for the character because you know she, she's She's had this inner strength, she's had this uh, tenacity all the way through it and suddenly it's just gone and she's just at the lowest of the low and she can't rouse herself to rouse everybody else and it's such a, a real interesting moment within that character and all the other characters have these really fun moments as well and to see them kind of galvanise together and then sometimes tear each other apart is just wonderful to watch. And like I said, there is real tension and there is real suspense here because you don't know if these people are going to survive. People are disappearing off the boat and you're never quite sure if they have something nefarious has happened to them or whether it's been a genuine accident. It's captivating, it's exciting, it's thrilling, it's a quick run time and it is Hitchcock doing what he does best creating a wonderful situation, a wonderful scenario, adding in some conflict, 
showing some true personalities throughout the piece and just creating a wonderful study of people under pressure. Lifeboat's amazing. It's one of my favourite Hitchcock movies. They're all great, to be honest. I really enjoyed uh, the Masters of Cinema Steelbook in this because it comes with two French shorts that Hitchcock did. Um, we get Madagascar Landing, which is a 32-minute short, and it's quite interesting about a group of actors create uh, as they talk about their performances and roles, and it's quite interesting. Uh, bon Voyage, which was brilliant, which was a 26-minute short, which I really loved, which was an escaped uh, POW um, who is talking to his commander, relating his story of his escape and what happened and it's a kind of mystery driven one that has that level of what the hell is going on and is really fun. These just add to the disc exponentially. I think they're great. I enjoyed this disc immensely and it is highly recommended. I'd love to know your thoughts on Lifeboat. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.